Welcome to my third class of four year series. In the second class, we already discussed general K general construction of Fourier transform formula over the interval a comma a plus two n. Based on general formula for Fourier series, we consider two cases. Case number one in the interval zero comma two n. Case number two is minus n to plus n. Based on that. I is already discuss how to identify how to proceed how to construct fourier series based on first case and also based on the second case now continuation of the second case in this class i'm going to discuss some more sub cases now whenever the given function we want to construct the fourier series in the corresponding interval suppose the interval is in the form of minus l to plus l in such cases not necessary to find out a not a n and b n then uh, here so we are going to consider two more sub cases before going to consider consider two more sub cases one of the definite integral we discussed already in the first class of fourier series based on prerequisite integration of minus a to a f of s dx with respect to x There are two cases equal to two cases. One is twice of is equal to what? As if two cases twice of zero to a f of x with respect to x. The condition is if f of x is an even function. Suppose f of x is an odd function. What happens? This integral value is zero. If f of x is an odd function, then Hard function. This result we already discussed in first class of Fourier series. Based on this result, we are going to take two sub cases. Only the uh, uh, thing is, we are given interval is in the form of minus l to plus l. The first sub case is sub case one. Or you take a. If if f of x is an even function, then even function over the interval minus l to plus l. Before construct the Fourier series, first try to verify what happen a not a n and b n. What is our a not formula in the second case? One by l minus l to l f of x dx. But the function is uh, even, uh, even function from the definite integral property. If f x is an even function, minus a t a similarly minus l t l can be written as twice of we get two by l zero to l f of x with respect to x, and also I to find out a n. What is my a n is one by l minus l to l. f of x cos n x cos of n x by l by l with respect to x. Here observe carefully. F of x is an even function. We already assumed cosine functions are even. You already know that. Plus sin to plus is what actually plus. Our plus is even function. Minus is an odd function. Now here. Product of two even functions must be even again from the definite integral property. This can be written as twice of zero to l one by l zero to l f of x cos of n pi x by l with respect to x with respect to x. Yeah. Now uh, then I to write uh, properly for this. Uh, yeah. Now f of x. Cos, uh, co uh, not cos, sine actually. Sorry, cos, cos of n by x by l with respect to x. Because cosine functions are even, we already assume that f of x is even. Product of two even functions must be even. Similarly, I have to verify what happened. B n. What is the original form? B n is one by l minus l to l f of x into sine of n by x by l. With respect to x, but we already assume this is an even function. But sine functions are odd function. 
you know that plus into minus is what actually minus here minus is what is odd function even is plus is even okay product of even into odd is odd function from the definite integral property what happened the b1 value must be zero see when about the function in the interval in the second case for minus ltl the for suppose function is an even function no need i to find out which value uh, bn value we have to write directly bn is zero okay now in the next step this is if f of x is an even function over the interval minus ltl what is our actual fourier series formula after the simplification a not by 2 plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity an cos of cos of n by x by l where what is a not formula 2 by l only we are consider half of the given interval <coughs> not necessary to take entire interval minus ltl is reduce the calculation also time time consumption compared to the original formula for case 2 to this is less f of x dx and then a n is 2 by l 0 to l f of x cos of n pi x by l with respect to x now move to the next sub case what's the sub case is if suppose f of x is an odd function in the interval minus l to plus l sub case b if f of x is is an odd function over minus l to plus l now here first you uh, uh, take uh, original formula for a not a n and b n what is a formula for function over the interval minus l to l a not formula is 1 by l just now we taken here no here you know that uh, here this formula same thing a not 1 by l minus l to l f of x dx now observe carefully here now observe now here here we already know that f of x we assume that is an odd function f of x is an odd from the definite integral property what happen this must be zero therefore a not must be zero similarly an is 1 by l minus l to plus l f of x cos of n pi x by l with respect to x or dx in this case now observe carefully f of x is even function or uh, is the f of x what you are consider f of x is an odd function yeah okay is odd but sine functions are even product of minus into plus is minus therefore this is odd function they from the definite integral property what we get actually is zero from the definite integral property the value of this integral is zero now move to next bn value what is the bn here bn is in 1 by l yeah minus l to plus l 1 by l minus l to plus l f of x to sin of n pi x by l with respect to x we already assume if f of x is an odd function sin functions are odd you know that product of two odd function minus into minus is plus product of two odd function is an even function from the definite integral property this property you know that from the definite integral property what we get actually this must be equal to twice of 2 by l 0 to l f of x sin of n pi x by l with respect to x for suppose the given function is odd function in the given interval minus l to l no need i to find out all a not n a not n b n just you find out b n therefore now 
See so a modified formula for suppose f of x is an R function in the given function is an R function in the interval in the second case minus L2 plus L. What is my formula for construction of Fourier series? Only a summation of n ranging from 1 to infinity b n sin of n pi x by l where what is my b n formula 2 by l 0 to l f of x sin of n pi x by l with respect to x. Now observe carefully here uh, a little bit uh, zoom out uh, to it now then easy to see entire thing here. Now in the case 2, what is case 2 is f of x defined, in the, defined on the interval minus L to L. We already discussed this formula. But not necessary whenever function is defined in minus L to L, it's not necessary to go for, to find out always A naught, A and B L. With the help of this definite integral property, suppose the in the second case, the given interval is minus L to L, the function is an even function, which value 0, bn is 0, only I have to find out a naught and a n, but not necessary to take entire integral, we have to take half of the integral 0 to n. Otherwise, you take minus l to 0, but usually for our comfortable, we are choosing 0 to n. But keep in mind, we have to write twice of that. And also, suppose the function is odd function, what are the values are 0, a naught and a, a in a 0 only is remaining bn, then we get very easily the construction of Fourier series only have to find out bn. Instead of that, apply case 2 directly, suppose function is odd function, find out a0, a n and bn, definitely a0 and a n is 0. They simply are wasting a time. That's why you have to uh, explain the student in the first, cl first class itself, construction of Fourier series, how to construct the series. Keep in mind these two cases, only a subcases allowed for the interval must be in the form of minus L to plus L. Because most of the students they are doing mistake. For example, I am going to take, take one, one example here. For example, uh, example, f of x is x square over the interval 0, 3. Oh, x square is an even function. I go for uh, uh, what about uh, only I have to find out a naught, a n, no need I have to find out b n. It's wrong actually. Keep in mind, if you want to go for even or odd, I told in my first class, always define in negative to positive limit. First, you observe the limit based on that to decide I go for case 1 or case 2. Whenever interval is in the form of case 2, then we permits to go for even case and odd case. Here we can't go for even or odd case. Suppose f of x is equal to x into a sin x over the interval minus pi to pi. Yeah, the interval is in the form of minus L to L. Now, we have, before going to construct the Fourier series, we have a right to go for even or odd. First, you have to verify even or odd. How to verify even or odd? Replace x by minus x minus a sin of a minus x sin of minus theta is minus sin theta minus minus into minus plus we get x sin x. The given function is an even function. No, no way which value 0? Pn is 0. While construction of Fourier series, we have to uh, find out a naught and a n using the formula 2 by n 0 to n. Now, you know, again I am going to explaining this. Before going to uh, uh, consider even or our definition, first you observe the limit. Suppose limit is in the form of minus L to L, then I have to go for even or R. And also another one point the students they are going to confuse. Uh, suppose the function is defined in the interval, say in the interval f of x is defined in the interval minus L to plus L. No, we have to verify even or odd. But we can't say that always is an even or odd. For example, f of x is equal to x plus x square over the interval minus y to plus y. Yeah, is in the form of second case. Is in the form of second case. Now I go for even or odd. You replace it x by minus x. What we get minus x is a minus x. Minus x whole square is plus x. What we get minus x plus x square. It's not equal to f of x. Suppose I have to take minus n outside, what happens? x minus x squared. This also not equal to minus of f of x. Observe here, the given function is in the form of second case, but function is not even, not an odd. Therefore, such type of function is treated as neither even nor odd function. In such cases, we are going to construct a Fourier series using second case formula only. 
in the interval minus a to plus l. What's the second case formula? And this is our uh, second case formula. Now, using this uh, formula, we have to construct the Fourier series. Now, before uh, move to the next step, again I'm going to repeat. If you want to go for any cases, first you have to observe the lim limit based on that you go for first case or second case. Whenever is involved belongs to the second case, then only have a rights to move for even or odd. Otherwise, you don't go for even or odd. After that, before you construct the Fourier series, please take a to you know, taking a value of L. Suppose in the first case, what is our interval is 0 to 2L. How to find out the value of the L is equate to upper limit of the given interval to, for example, upper limit the given interval 0 to 3 equate to upper limit of 2L, uh, first case, then simplify that. Automatically we get 3 by 2. Then similarly, whenever the given interval is in the form of second case, in such cases, how to take the value of L is equal to again upper limit of the second case to given interval of the upper limit, then we get the value of L. This is a way to find out the value of L. You must and should have to take care of taking the value of L because the, then uh, is very important, very important tool to construct the Fourier series. Before uh, move to the next step, I'm to I'm going to write a flow chart. What are things I discussed from previous class to this class? In the first uh, previous class, what I dis first I consider general case. Yeah, general case. general method to construction of Fourier series. What is your uh, general, uh, if you want to write uh, clearly for this, what is the general formula for Fourier series? Beginning we consider over the interval a comma a plus 2L. I'm recalling once again for your uh, uh, formula for uh, of Fourier series entire thing what we discussed last class and present class, okay? Okay, fine. Now here, what is the general formula for a Fourier series? Fun, suppose function is defined, f of x is defined over an interval a comma a plus 2l, what is your Fourier series formula? What is your Fourier series formula here? The Fourier series, this is nothing but general. Okay. What is the Fourier series formula for this uh, case is what actually? f of x equals a naught by 2 plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x by l and also summation for n ranging from 1 to infinity b n sine of n pi x by l where what are the formulas for finding a0, an and bn for Fourier quotients? 1 by L. The limit is a to a plus 2L, f of x, dx. And then an formula is 1 by L, a to a plus 2L, f of x, cos of n pi x by L with respect to x. This is a very, very important. The rest, once you clear the rest of the thing, suppose we are confident with the uh, Integration, how to evaluate using UV rule, that's next uh, further steps are very, very easy. f of x into sine of n by x by l with respect to x. This is a formula for, suppose we are defining the function, f of x is defined over the interval a comma a plus 2 here. This is a general. General, I divided into, oh, what about that, uh, two cases. Yeah, the first case is now I have to take a is what actually a is a zero, and then here a is equal to minus l. If we know what happened, f of x is f of x is defined over the interval zero comma two l. Here f of x is defined over the interval minus l to plus l. Okay, fine. In the next step, what is a Fourier series for this? Uh, f of x. 
Fourier series for the function defined over the interval 0 to t are same formula for what we return for f of s defined over the interval. The only thing is the instead of a to a plus 2, we are finding a naught n and bn we are going to take 0 to 2n. What's the formula for this? f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity an a n uh, cos of n pi x by n plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity b n sin of n pi x by n. Okay, fine. Where? What's the formula for a naught? a naught is what? 1 by n, 0 to 2 l, f of x, uh, dx. Then what is our a n formula? 1 by n, 0 to 2 l, f of x cos of n pi x by l with respect to writing a naught n and b n is very easy. Once you construct the Fourier series based on the given interval, while writing a naught just you take the given interval 1 by l 0 to f of x dx. While taking a n and b n, instead of a n you take f of x, instead of b n is f of x. Write the integral 0 to 2 l 1 by l that gives us the formula for a n and b n. 1 by l 0 to 2L, f of x, sin of n pi x by L with respect to x. Okay. Now, suppose A is equal to minus L. How to construct the Fourier series for, the, uh, for this uh, function here? I'm going to take the Fourier series for this function. is nothing but, yeah, better I to put a bifurcation line for this. Okay. Now, Fourier series what after f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x by l plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity b n sin of n pi x by l where what is my a naught formula a naught formula is what actually 1 by l minus L2 plus L f of x dx. What is my A in formula? Is nothing but 1 by L minus L2 L f of x cos of n pi x by L with respect to x. Similarly, the Bn formula for this is Bn is what actually Bn is equal to 1 by L minus L2 L f of x sin of n pi x by l with respect to x. These things you already know that. Okay. In the next step, suppose the function is defined in negative to uh, positive limits. There we have uh, two subcases. What are the two subcases we consider based on this? Two subcases. Yeah. I am recalling all the entire thing in the flow chart. Okay. Now here subcase here f of x is then e1. Here f of x is then odd. Okay. Suppose f of x is an even function. What is our Fourier series expansion? f of x is equal to which value 0? We have to write it that also here which value 0? bn is 0. Here a0 is 0 and a n is equal to 0. Then we have to construct the Fourier series for this a naught by 2 plus summation in ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x by l where a naught, what is a naught? 2 by l 0 to l f of x dx. What is a n formula is 2 by l 0 to l f of x cos of n pi x by l with respect n pi x by l with respect to x. While well, come to this this side, what is the construction of Fourier series? Only having which value b n value b n therefore for n ranging from one to infinity b n sine of n pi x by l where b n is what twice of 1 by L, 0 to L, F of X, sin of N pi X by L with respect to X. Now, 
once you clear this flow chart the rest of the thing is very very easy now i'm showing the entire thing in one uh, uh, screen observe carefully for this part yeah now observe carefully this uh, yeah now in the general what is my uh, general ca uh, cases actually observe carefully now general is what f of x is in the interval a comma a plus 2 here you have written what is the formula for f of x so based on general case not necessary to take always this formula for student benefit student uh, student convenient we are consider two cases you to observe any problem either belongs to the first case or maybe belongs to the second case zero put a zero zero to two year what's another case is minus here to plus here zero to two year whenever start from zero you can't go for even or odd keep in mind most of the students they doing mistake here they they worried about function don't worry about the function first you observe the interval interval is in the form of start from zero you go for first case there we don't have even or odd there is no chance i have to find out a not a and b and the interval is zero to two year how to take the value of l here equal to upper limit of the first case is 2 here equal to corresponding upper limit of the problem simplify that we get the value of n suppose a is equal to minus l means the given for interval get what minus l to plus l suppose function is defined in minus a to a or minus l to l in such cases we have two cases f of x is an even function f of x is an odd function is an even function bn is zero using definite integral property only we are constructing fourier series based on a not and an and also writing a not and an formula 2 by l 0 to l not necessary to take entire limit only have to evaluate half of the interval of the given interval that give rise same answer if you want to construct using case to f of x minus l to plus l we get same thing so post function is r directly to right a not and an is zero then immediately we get a very simple expression for the fourier series only have to find out bn while finding bn also 2 by l 0 to l f of x sin of n by x by l with respect to x now only the based on the interval i have to decide at who this is a flow chart for the fourier series once you clear these steps next is very very easy see general case based on the two cases this case there is no option suppose this case you have two option function is even or or maybe odd some uh, it's uh, exceptional case even though the function is defined in negative to positive limit now function may be neither even or odd in such cases we are use there is no alternative fraction second we know that function is even or odd you go for uh, second case a function is defined over the interval minus atl based on that i to find out a not an and B and I to and then I to construct the Fourier series. This is nothing but the flow chart of the construction of Fourier series. Now, once you keep this uh, flow chart, you write in uh, one sheet and keep it along with that while solving a problem, then you don't have a confuse. Now, before uh, going to the next step, now the another one or two things you have to discuss here. Okay. The it is suppose sometimes we get most of the note most of the case we get this cos of n by yeah n is a positive integer only because our a n or b n summation range from what 1 to infinity in the fourier series therefore n is a positive integer n is a positive integer means only we get two case n may be even n may be odd what is cos cos by value cos by is minus 1 What is cos 2 pi value plus 1? Observe carefully. Even case is 1. Odd case is minus. Therefore, whenever we get cos n pi while solving a problem in Fourier series, we are going to take generally minus 1 to the power of n. For n is equal to 1 to 3, we get same thing. Now put 10 is equal to 1. Cos pi minus 1. Put 10 is equal to 2. Cos 2 pi is 1. Similarly, cos of 2 n pi. Cos n pi is minus one to the power of n. Therefore, cos of two n pi instead of n, what we have two n. Now, even multiple of n is n may be even n may be are becoming even value. What is this value is one. Whenever we get cos of two n pi, we are going to write straightly one one. Similarly, sin n pi. What is sin pi value? Sin pi value is 
zero. What is sine two pi value? Zero. Therefore, n may be even n may be our sine n pi is zero for n is equal to one two three. And also, you know that sine zero. What is sine zero? Is zero. These are the things we get while solving a problem frequently. Cos zero. What is cos zero? Is one. And then also, what is cos of minus theta? Cos of minus theta is cos theta. What is sine of minus theta? Is what actually minus sine theta. And also, you have to know the formula for transformation formula for two sine a sine b, two cos a cos b, two sine a cos b, two sine uh, cos a. Sine b. These are the transformation formula. You know that. Whenever having product of two functions while doing integration, better to convert some more difference of the function. You already know that pair in the Laplace transform. Even though you must and should have to write it in any one of the sheet. Two sine a sine b using cos of a plus b and cos of a minus b. What we get actually cos of uh, a minus a minus b. Minus cos of a plus b because cos of a plus b is cos uh, cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. I want sin a sin b therefore minus. The opposite of this means what is two cos a cos b is cos of a plus b. We just have to take uh, same you know write it same form then easy to remember. The middle sign must be a positive. That's all. Cos of a plus so, sorry cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. Because we, we we want to what actually cos of two cos a cos b, cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. Similarly, you write down two sin a cos b formula using sin of a plus b, sin of a minus b is nothing but sin of a a plus b plus sin of a minus b. So two cos a sin b is what actually. Sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b. You must and should have to remember this formula while solving problem is very very important. And also most of the students while doing a problem they are going to confuse here, especially for cos of n pi by two. Cos of n pi by two. See what n is what actually for n is equal to one two three because we are talking about summation is one to infinity. Therefore, n is equal to one, two, three, etc. Now, here observe carefully. Put n is equal to one. What is cos pi by two? Cos pi by two is zero. Put n is equal to two. Cos of two to cancel. Cos pi is minus one. Put n is equal to three. Cos of three pi by two. What we get actually zero. Put n is equal to four. Put n is equal to four. What happened? Two pi. Four pi by two. What we get? Two pi. Cos two pi is one. Now this shows that most of the students they are going to uh, doing mistake here. Whenever get a cos n pi by two, they are writing zero. You can't write zero. It's depending of the value of n. N may be even. N may be odd. Even though even are odd. You see in the odd cases what happens? Zero if n is odd. Okay. It's plus or minus one. You can't say one plus one or minus one if n is even. It's depending upon the particular even value. If n is even, see in, in even case one first case we get minus one. In n is equal to four we get plus one. N is equal to six we get minus one. Therefore, please try to understand that cos of n pi by two. If you want to write once again uh, clearly, cos of n pi by two value is what actually zero if n is odd. Plus or minus one if n is even. Similarly, sine of n pi by two. Most of the student is doing mistake for writing sine of n pi by two. They are writing uh, the value is one. Now you can't write the value is one. I'll explain here. What is sine? Put n is equal to one. For n is equal to one, two, three. Because our summation is ranging from n four to n six, one to n three. Sine of put n is equal to sine of pi by two. What is sine of pi by two? Is one. Put n is equal to two. Sine of two pi by two, two two cancels. Sine pi is zero. Put n is equal to three. Sine of three pi by two is minus one. Here, what happens in odd cases? We get plus or minus. 
ult of cos of n pi by 2 even cases are zero if a sin of n pi by 2 value is uh, uh, 1 plus or minus 1 if n is odd 0 if n is even you must and should have to remember this we can't write any value definite value for cos n pi by 2 sin pi by 2 in the range 1 to infinity is depending upon the particular value of n. Now this much is you know is clear the next while solving in next class I am taking some problem how to construct the Fourier series then very 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 easy to construct the Fourier series in the corresponding interval. Thank you very much for listening my talk. I will come and meet in the next class based on some problem how to construct in the Fourier series.